Greetings once again. This is Dr. Bill Bailey, and this is the VertZine Netcast. VertZine, as you know, is the online magazine of virtualization and cloud computing. And we've got something very special today that we want to share with you from VertZine. And that is a special demo of uh, ThinLink by Syndio. ThinLink is an open source project and also Syndio is a company behind that open source project. And I think you will find this a very interesting netcast uh, concerning the capabilities of this Linux-based virtualized desktop and application server. Now it's virtualized in the sense that it's providing a virtual desktop for your user or a published application much as say uh, Citrix ZenApp uh, provides for you. So very very interesting technology here. I actually uh, was made aware of this through one of their main developers who sent me an email and said hey Dr. Bill why don't you take a look at Finlink because we had looked at a competing product called Ultio. So check out this demo of Finlink. All right, we're going to do a demo today of Syndio's ThinLink. Now, I will say this. My recording is going to be a little bit interesting because I can only record so much of my screen and maintain it within the aspect ratio of our video netcast. So you'll have to kind of forgive some of that. But at any rate, uh, we're starting up the ThinLink client here. It's connecting to usdemo.thinlink.com. They also have a European version, the eudemo.thinlink.com. And uh, here we have the profile chooser. So I'm going to go ahead and, and select from the profiles we have available in our demo. We have a single application, which is LibreOffice. Then we have a user's restricted desktop and an administrator's desktop. Now, the single application, they show a, show a picture here of OpenOffice, but it's actually LibreOffice in their demo. But the thing I want you to notice here is that this single application coming off of a Linux server using ThinLink is very similar to uh, Citrix ZenApp published applications. So let's go ahead and choose that. Notice it runs a little program here in the client and then it brings up LibreOffice. Now I'm going to go ahead and choose the text editor document. Notice how quick this is. Very, very snappy. Alright, then I'm going to go ahead and exit out of that. And then we'll restart our ThinLink client and reconnect to our demo. Now this is a demo server of an installation. Keep in mind that Cindio ThinLink is an open source project and you can download a version of it for free to test and uh, it has 10 users that have full functionality. So a 10 user system is free. Beyond that you have to license it. Uh, let's go ahead and pick the user's restricted desktop. Once again it cranks up and we see here a desktop. Now this is coming off of a CentOS Linux server. And what they do is they start up the web browser here with a little uh, write-up on the options they have available in ThinLink. The administrator's desktop, the user's restricted desktop, and the Windows desktop profile for a Windows 2003 server. And yes, you read that right. It does support sessions from Windows 2003 and Windows 2008 servers. I'm going to go ahead and exit out of here. And you notice that in terms of applications, you have very restricted applications here. Now, that is because this is the restricted desktop. So, let me go ahead and log out. Once again, we're back to our regular desktop. I'm going to go into the ThinLink client and log back in once again. And as we log in this time, we'll go ahead and select the administrator's desktop. That way you'll be able to see all of the various options we have here. Now notice here we have a lot more applications. So see what they've been able to do is lock down 
the desktop. Now once again I'm going to exit out of the web browser, get back to the applications. Here we have the GIMP. Now notice how fast this is. This is running on obviously a very powerful server and so the speed and the capability that you get is of that large machine that's running in their data center and then we get the benefit of just seeing the screen displays here. Now once again I'm going to bring up LibreOffice. Look how fast that is. Isn't that amazing? Now keep in mind that this is a desktop that you could offer users from anywhere on the internet where they can install that ThinLink client. Very, very impressive. Now I also installed the uh, they have the the administration console here. That's really handy. Let me go ahead and show you that. I was about to say I have installed the uh, <laughs> well now this is interesting. Let's see if their admin <laughs> their admin account. I have no idea what the password is. I didn't look that up because when I set mine up uh, at work I set it up with a different password so I didn't make note of the one in their demonstration system. At any rate, uh, one more guess. <laughs> uh, you can tell that I didn't thoroughly prepare this one. Uh, let's try this. No, okay, well never mind then. Uh, the point is their admin interface is web based and is really very nice. Um, so I encourage you to check out their site Cindio www.cindio.com and we're connecting to it here. I wanted you to see it within their system. They may actually have, there we go, I started to say they may have it restricted, but at any rate uh, here is their site and notice that they have an overview, the online demo, which is what we were using, and you can download it fully functional for up to 10 users and then the pricing. Now I'm curious, I haven't actually looked at the pricing because I was so involved in the demo side of it, uh, installing it on a, on a server that, that I could administrate and use, and then also through the demo here, I decided to just go ahead and use their demo uh, for the Vertzine uh, netcast here. And this shows you price per concurrent user. So for a large organization, well, you know, 300 to almost 8,000 users, or uh, 7,500 users here, uh, it's thirty dollars per user, which is quite reasonable, really, for the functionality that you're getting here. Um, one year subscription. Now, remember, this is as it says here: perpetual license, email-based support, two business day response time, updates, maintenance during the subscription period. Uh, one to ten users is sixty-five dollars. That's for the fully licensed version. All obviously the open source free version is available for one to ten users um, you know for free but then if you want actual support then it would be sixty five dollars per user if you have a small organization of a hundred users forty dollars per user again quite reasonable um, to consider if you are a small business and are looking for this functionality uh, they have resellers and distributors available really very impressive uh, how this works and keep in mind too that you know we reviewed uh, earlier on Vertzine I believe it was Vertzine number 20 if memory serves you can check that out um, but we uh, interview or we did a review of Ultio and uh, actually I'm going to go ahead and go to the Vertzine website oh my bad, I put an extra period in there. That will obviously uh, be a problem. So, I 
I suspect on their servers they have certain restrictions so I'm gonna go ahead and just exit out of here and log out and then we'll just go ahead and use a good old local browser here and go to vertzine now you will notice that the vertzine site has changed just a bit um, we have uh, kind of done a bit to neaten it up if a little bit if you will uh, vertzine number 20 see if my memory is is uh, pretty decent here here we go Ultio Open Virtual Desktop Demo. Yep, sure enough. Vertzine Netcast number 20. So, this is the open source virtual desktop and application delivery solution from Ultio. And uh, you, if you remember that, uh, I would suggest you go check it out as well. Uh, but it would be, in effect, the competitor for um, the one that we're looking at here which is ThinLink. Now ThinLink, I will say this, they actually uh, saw that we had done a comparison of uh, or a demo of Ultio and wanted us to show you ThinLink as well as comparison. I will say this about ThinLink, I am impressed that it is slicker in terms of its presentation and uh, you know it it is uh, very cleanly done Ultio is is a little rougher around the edges however I will say this about Ultio Ultio does not require a local client per se Ultio works directly through the web browser using JavaScript and they're also in the process of working on an HTML5 client so pluses minuses uh, you choose and decide what you would rather use but I'm telling you there are quite a bit of uh, quite a bit of activity there's activity out there in the open source market for desktop delivery all right I trust you enjoyed that little demo and found it very interesting ThinLink is really an excellent product and one that I think you need to consider when you're looking at um, desktops that are made available to users across the internet. So check out ThinLink, download the uh, 10 user version, the trial version, and install it on your own servers. Check it out for yourself. That's what I did. All right, we do have one other article that I want to mention that's on Vertzine. Vertzine, uh, we put an article called Cloud Computing Does Save Energy. This is an article from ITWire by Graham Phil Philipson, uh, and he asked the question, does cloud computing really reduce energy demands and greenhouse gas emissions? This has been the subject of a debate for some time, and then goes into the article and talks about the substantial savings that you can get in terms of energy cost by using cloud computing. Uh, the study that he's talking about is called the Enabling Technologies of a Low Carbon Economy, a Focus on Cloud Computing. Uh, and it examines the savings energies uh, and uh, GHG abatement potential of cloud computing in 11 countries. Brazil, Canada, China, the Czech Republic, France, Germany, Indonesia, Poland, Portugal, Sweden, and the UK. So, you can actually even download the report from the article that I have there on vertzine.com. So I'd encourage you to check that out, and uh, you will find that it's really interesting uh, what they found, that there is a 75, uh, the 75% the of the energy consumed by the capital region of Brussels, or 25% of the energy consumed by London, is equivalent to abating 4.5 megatons of CO2 emissions annually, are taking more than 1.7 million cars off the road by using cloud computing. Now, whether you think that global warming is an issue or not, uh, using clean energies and cutting down on emissions is always a good thing. Uh, so regardless of your position on that, uh, these technologies can really be beneficial in keeping our environment clean, and that's a good thing. Not to mention saving money in a lot of other ways, so I'd encourage you 
to take a look at this report, take a look at this article. Join us next time for the next edition of the Vertzine Netcast. Remember until then to keep your head in the clouds. Thank you.